Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula, and welcome to another Pokemon Go Raid Guide video. Today we're going to be looking at the Ground-type legendary Pokemon Groudon. This is one of the most powerful ground types that you could have, and it's also a very powerful Pokemon for the Master League. I'm going to be telling you how you can defeat this boss in this video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Alrighty, let's get into Groudon. So, this is one of the most powerful Pokemon currently in the game, and that is of course because it has some insanely high stats and a lot of great moves that you could use in the Master League. It is also one of the top ground type raid attackers currently in the game, and in very rare occasions it will actually get outclassed in terms of ground type DPS. Therefore, I highly suggest you do as many of these as you can whenever it is in raid battles so that you could pick yourself up a 100% IV of this Pokemon. Groudon is a pure ground type, which means it's only going to be weak against grass types, water types, and ice types. It will also be resistant against electric types, poison types, and rock types, so make sure you're not bringing any of those. But in terms of its counters, it's going to be pretty straightforward. The nice thing about Groudon is that it shares a lot of the same counters to Kyogre, so if both Groudon and Kyogre are out simultaneously, you could just use a whole team of grass types and you should be good to go for both of those bosses. So let's go over Groudon's counters right now. First and foremost, there's plenty of different Mega Evolutions that you could bring. Starting off, there is of course Mega Venusaur, and then of course there's Mega Gyarados with water type attacks as well. You could also go with Mega Obama Snow, but I would be careful with that considering that Groudon could also have the move Fire Punch and that would certainly knock out your Obama Snow really quickly. Other grass types that you could bring include Zarud, which is a mythical grass type Pokemon. It's going to be really powerful against this boss and of course every single player who completed the special research will have a Zarud for free. And in terms of other viable grass types there's of course regular Venusaur as well as Roserade. If you have a full team of Roserades with a Mega Venusaur you should be good to go. If you don't want to go with grass types for one reason or another, like for example, let's say one of your raid mates is bringing a Mega Gyarados or a Mega Blastoise, then you could go with a whole team of Kyogres. That's going to be really powerful, but if you're lacking in Kyogres, then I highly suggest bringing Pokemon like Swampert and Kingler. Those are also really good options. Since most of these water type Pokemon are going to resist a lot of Groudon's moves, it would be best to bring some of these as opposed to bringing a whole bunch of grass types, because you do do run the risk of going up against a Groudon with Fire Punch, so if you want to go the safer option, then bringing a whole bunch of water types might be your best bet. But you really can't go wrong with either of these kind of teams, and you could even mix and match if you want to go with just one team for the entirety of Groudon's moveset, like you can have a Mega Venusaur opener or a Mega Gyarados opener, and then have a team full of Kyogres and Roserades just mixed in. Now Groudon is also going to be weak against Ice types, but in terms of raw DPS, I would suggest going with grass types and water types because for this fight in particular, they're going to out DPS the best ice types that are currently out there, so I suggest putting your Mamoswines on the bench. The one exception is of course going to be Mega Obama Snow, but the real reason for that is because of course it is a Mega Evolution and it is going to boost up other grass types. The perfect IV CP for Groudon is going to be the same exact one for Kyogre. You will want one that is 2350 one, and if it's weather boosted, you will want one that is 2939. And of course, Groudon is a pure ground type, which means it's going to be weather boosted by only one weather boost, and that is of course sunny and clear weather. And just like Kyogre, Groudon has very well-rounded stats, so it's going to be difficult for a lot of trainers who are under level, which is why I suggest going with at least six trainers in the raid lobby so that you could securely defeat this boss. But if you want to challenge yourself, you could possibly do this with just two other trainers. Of course, if you are able to do so, then make sure you and those two 
other trainers are always raiding together because you will be able to complete more raids. I'm not sure you can duo it, but it might be possible if you have the absolute best conditions, like both you and the other player are level 40 or higher, and of course you have the weather boosts in your favor, as well as a whole bunch of bonuses like friendship bonuses and best buddy bonuses, so that you could deal as much damage as you possibly can. Groudon is extremely useful in just about every aspect of Pokemon Go. If you're looking for a Pokemon that will do really well against Team Go Rocket Battles, the Go Battle League, or even in Raid Battles, then this is one Pokemon you absolutely must get. I've had a lot of success in the Master League portion of the Go Battle League with this Pokemon, and that is of course because it does counter a lot of the top tier Pokemon in that league. And then in terms of Team Go Rocket Battles, I've had pretty much no issue with Pokemon that are weak against ground types, and that is because Groudon is just so well-rounded in terms of its stats. And those well-rounded stats also makes Groudon one of the best ground type raid attackers as well. Even though it does get outclassed by certain other Pokemon once they are maxed out, I still suggest having a whole bunch of Groudon for raids because there will be situations where Groudon is going to be king. I mean, other than Exadrill and Terrian form Landorus, there really aren't too many ground types that are going to be better than Groudon. One final note regarding Groudon is that this Pokemon can potentially be shiny, and it is one of those shinies that are highly valuable for any player. Thus, if you want to have a really solid trade chip for your lucky trades, then make sure you collect as many shinies of this Pokemon as possible whenever it is in raid battles. Your chances of picking up a shiny Groudon in raids is supposed to be 1 in 20, so if you want this Pokemon in your collection and you want it to be shiny, then make sure you're doing as many raids as you possibly can. So yeah, there you have it. This is my raid guide for Groudon. Again, just to recap, all you need is a full team of your best grass types and water types, and make sure you have a mega evolution of one of those types ready at the whim, so that you could deal out as much damage as you possibly can. Make sure you coordinate with people you raid with so that they're bringing similar things, so that you boost each other up with the mega evolution bonuses, and you have a whole bunch of really powerful grass types and water types that you're bringing instead of ice types, so that you could easily defeat this boss and collect those 100% IVs. And that's gonna be it for this video. Definitely share your thoughts regarding this raid boss down below. Was there a particular tip that I missed in this video? Definitely share them down below, and also also share what your best Groudon is. Let's have a great discussion regarding this raid boss, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos, and I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. For all of my patrons, you get a permanent spot on my friends list, so if you want to raid with me or interact with me in some way within Pokemon Go, then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.